This is a daily collection report which I have created in advance. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got months and year and both the things will be managed through drop downs. I'll click over here. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select January. From here, we can see from and to from 1st Jan to 31st Jan. Now I'll click over here and we'll select year. And as soon as I selected the year, all the details got visible. Currently, I have got all the details or all the payments or collections of January, January 24. When I'll click on January and we'll select February, all the details got changed, means dates and days got changed. Even the amount or collection amount got changed. Now we can see the figures of February. When I'll do it March, there's no collection for the month of March, only reason no amount is visible. I'll do it January. And when I'll do it 2025, we have got the data of 2025. When I come to right hand side, over here we can see total dues and the data is till 31st of Jan, means till end of the month. I'll come to left. There will be total three sheets in this format. First will be setting sheet, where we will have our months, year and company names. Second will be collection entry sheet. In collection entry sheet, all the details of collection will be there like customer's name, invoice number, invoice date and so on. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new sheet. We'll rename the sheet. This will be settings. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in center. We'll take column number A closer. We'll click on B2. This will be months and this will be year. And this will be company name. Enter. We'll adjust the column size. We'll take column number D closer. We'll select row number two and we'll align all the things in mid. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll click on here. We'll go to home. We'll click on format painter and we'll click over here. Now I'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. Months. We'll increase the column size. Over here, I'll type January. Enter. We'll drag this till December. Here, 2024. Enter. We'll align this in center. We'll drag this till end. Fill series. We'll select both and we'll create borders. Company name. I'll put company one. Enter. We'll drag this down. We'll drag this till 20. We'll create borders. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll put border over here. Now we will insert another sheet. This will be collection entries. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. We'll take column number A closer. We'll click on B2. This will be serial number. Helper. Customer name. Enter. We'll come to setting sheet. And we'll do this customer name. Enter. This will be customer one. Enter. We'll drag this till last. Now I'll go to collection entries. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select the whole row. And we'll take all the things in center. We'll change the font style. We'll adjust the column size. This will be invoice number. We'll drag this. This will be invoice date. Month. Year. Due date. Over due days. Invoice amount. We'll adjust the column size. We'll come to right hand side. Paid. We'll open the bracket. Yes. Slash. No. We'll close the bracket. Enter. We'll adjust the column size. Paid date. And this will be paid amount. Enter. We'll adjust the column size. We'll click on paid amount. We'll press shift control left arrow key. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll increase the row size. Paid amount will be fully formulated. So I'll put red color over here. We'll come to left. Year, due date and overdue days will be fully formulated. So I'll put red color over here also. We'll come to left. We'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll insert borders. Serial number. I'll put serial numbers. We'll adjust the column size. We'll increase size of helper, customer name, customer one, or I'll take details from here. I'll take from first customer till fifth customer. Control C or command C and we'll paste over here. We'll copy this. We'll paste over here. We'll drag this down. We'll copy this, paste. Because whatever we will be selling, it will be just random. So any customer can take anything on any date. 
We'll click on serial number, we'll press shift control, down arrow key and right arrow key and we'll create borders. Invoice number. I'll take some random invoice numbers. We'll drag this down. Invoice date, it can be random. We'll take this in center. We'll click on top, we'll press control 1. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. Okay. We'll drag this down. Month. Month will be also dynamic, so I'll put red color over here. Formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We'll click on invoice date, comma, double inverted comma, M M M M means M four times, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. So we got January. We'll drag this down. Year. Formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We'll click on invoice date, comma, double inverted comma, Y, 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 Y means Y four times, double inverted comma, close, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. We got our year. We'll drag this down. Due date. So due date will be calculated on basis of invoice date. It will be plus or equal to, we'll click on invoice date. Now it totally depends on you how many grace periods you are going to give. I'll take 30 plus 30, enter. So we got 31st Jan as due date. We'll take this in center. We'll drag this down. We'll come to right. Over due days. It will be calculated on daily basis. So we will use today over here. Plus or equal to today. Bracket open bracket close. Minus. We will click on due date. Enter. We'll take this in center. We'll click on top. We'll press control one. We'll go to number. We'll remove decimal places or we can go to general also and we'll do OK. So we got 165 days. We'll drag it down. It will keep on changing on daily basis. We will insert one more criteria over here. So I'll highlight this right now. Once we will put the criteria, I'll remove the highlight. We'll come to write invoice amount. Invoice amount figures can be anything. So I'll just take random figures. To take random figures, I'll take rand between. The rand between, bracket open, bottom. I'll take bottom figure as 500, comma, top figure as 1200. Bracket close and I'll hit enter. So I got a random figure. We'll drag it down. We'll copy this, control C or command C, and we'll paste here as values. Paste special values. We'll press escape. Paid, yes or no. I'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list. Source. I'll do yes comma no and i'll do okay we leave it selected we'll go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to and over here i'll type yes we'll click on drop down customize format fill from here i'll select green color and font will be white and we'll do okay okay We'll go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule equal to, and this time I'll type no. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill. From here, I'll select red color and font will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So our drop downs got created as well as got highlighted. I'll select yes. We'll select yes for all. For a couple of people, I'll select no. Of date date. Payment date can be anything. So I'll take some random figures. So I have taken some random dates. Now we'll click just under paid amount. So if this will be yes, over here we will get the amount. And if this will be no, it will be blank. So our formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open. This is equal to double inverted comma yes, double inverted comma close, comma. If this will be yes, we want invoice amount over here, comma. If this will not be yes, we want due to feature. So we'll put double inverted comma due, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and we will hit enter. We we'll take this in center or in left. We'll drag it down. If this is no, we can see due over here. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to, and over here we will type due. We'll click on drop down. Customize format, fill. From the drop down, we will select red color and font will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So, due got highlighted in red. Now we will come over here. Over here, we will insert criteria of if. 
if bracket open trade date is greater than zero, comma if trade date will be greater than zero, what we want? We want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice for blank, comma. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket. We'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this down. We'll remove the color. No fill. Over here, all the things are blank. So I'll do one thing. If the amount is not paid, I'll remove paid date. From here also, I'll remove paid date. So if the amount will not be paid, overdue days will be showing over here. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will come to left, helper. We are using helper only for VLOOKUP purpose over here. So I'll put plus or equal to customer name and we'll come to right and we'll click on paid date and we'll hit enter. We'll come to left. So both the text got combined and our helper column is ready. We'll drag it down. This sheet is ready. We will insert another sheet and this will be collection report. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home and we'll align all the things in mid. We'll take column number A closer. We'll click on B9. This will be serial number, customer name, invoice number. We'll adjust the column size, invoice date, status, invoice amount. We'll adjust the column size, total paid, balance. We'll click on row number nine and we'll select 10 also and we'll change the font style. We'll align all the things in center. We'll click on B2 and we'll select till balance and we'll merge this together. We'll make row size too bigger. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll increase the font size. This will be daily collection report. Enter. We'll leave row number three blank. We'll take this closer. We'll select B and C and we'll merge this together. This will be month. Enter. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll drag this till I. We'll delete this. We'll change color over here because this will be for drop down of months. We'll change the font color. This will be year. We'll change color over here also. We'll make row number four bigger. We'll select the whole row and we'll increase the font size. We'll select from month till end and we'll create outside border. Months. For months and year, we will create drop down. So we'll go to data, data validation. From here, we will select list. Source. We will go to our setting sheet and we'll select months from January to December and we'll do OK. So our drop down for months got created. We will select January. We'll click just in front of year. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, we will select list. Source. We'll go to setting sheet and we'll select years from top to bottom and we'll do OK. So the drop down for years got created. We'll select 2024. We'll take row number five closer. Now we'll click on B6 and we'll select till F and we'll merge this together. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. This will be total. We'll create borders till balance. For total, we will put red color over here and the font will be white. We'll click on serial number and we'll select cell just above serial number and we'll merge this. We'll do this for all the heads. We'll take row number seven closer. We'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll change the color. We'll change the font color. We'll create borders. Serial number. I'll insert some serial numbers over here. We'll drag this down. We'll change the font style. Customer name. Customer name can be repeated n number of times in collection entries. So we will do one thing. We will use unique over here. Formula will be plus or equal to unique bracket open. We'll go to collection entry sheet. We'll click on first customer's name and we'll select till end. This data may really be vast and it can't be adjusted till D18. So we will do one thing. We'll come to formula bar and just after D18, we will insert 1800 means we will do it 1800 instead of 18 means I have added two zeros. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll align this in left. 
Now, if the customer name gets added over here, it will be automatically added in our daily collection report sheet. I'll add my name over here. We'll do office mom. Enter. Let's go to collection report. And my name got featured in the end. We'll delete this. In case you don't have option of unique, you'll have to put the names over here manually. Invoice number, the formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Customer name will be our lookup value. We'll press function F4 three times, comma, table RA. We'll go to collection entry sheet and we'll select from D and we'll select till end. We'll press function F4 and the range will be logged, comma. We'll come to left. We want invoice number. So selection of VLOOKUP started from customer name. So this will be one and invoice number will be column number two. So I'll put two over here comma zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket. But before hitting enter, I'll insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open will come to end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So I got my invoice number. We'll drag this down. Invoice date, I'll drag this. We got invoice number over here. So we will have to change the column index number. We'll do this three and we'll hit enter. So we got our invoice date. We'll click on top, we'll press Ctrl-1, we'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do OK. Now we will drag this down. Status. So status will be collected from balance. If the balance will be zero, status will be cleared. And if balance will not be zero, status will be due. So I'll insert my formula. Formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open, we'll click on balance is equal to zero, comma, if the balance will be zero, we want cleared. So I'll put double inverted comma cleared, double inverted comma close, comma, if it will not be zero, we want due over here. So I'll put double inverted comma due, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and I'll hit enter. So we can see cleared right now. If I'll put any figure over here, it got changed to due. I'll delete this. I'll drag this down. So we can see cleared till end. So we will put one more criteria of if we'll go to formula bar. If bracket open, we'll click on invoice amount. If invoice amount is equal to zero, means if the invoice amount will be zero, what we want in return? We want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma or I'll put double inverted comma dash or minus double inverted comma close comma. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we can see dash. I'll drag this down. Invoice amount. We want invoice amount to be dynamic. Whenever we will change the month or year, invoice amount should be showing accordingly. So we will use some ifs over here. So the formula will be plus or equal to some ifs, bracket open, some range. We will go to our collection entry sheet. We'll come to right hand side and we'll select invoice amount from top. We'll press function F4 and the whole range will be logged, comma. Criteria range one. We'll come to left. So our first criteria will be customer's name. So we will click on top. We'll press function F4 and the range will be logged, comma. Criteria one, we'll go to collection report and we'll click on first customer, comma. Criteria range two, we'll go to collection entries. Criteria range two will be our months. So we will click on top. We'll press function F4 and the range will be logged, comma. Criteria two, we'll go to collection report and the criteria will be month over here. So whenever we will change the month, all the calculations will be done automatically. In formula bar, we can see D4 and E4. Both the cells are merged over here. So it's showing D4 and E4. So we will delete E4 from here and we'll keep D4. We'll press function F4 and the cell will be logged, comma. Criteria range three. So criteria range three will be years. So we'll go to collection entry sheet and we'll select years from top. We'll press function F4 and the range will be logged, comma. Criteria three, we'll go to collection report and we'll click on year. Over here also, we will delete last cell number. We'll press function F4. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got our invoice amount. We'll drag this down. Now, if the month will change, we'll do it February. All the figures got vanished because there's no invoice or invoice amount against month of February. 
we'll go to collection report and we'll do this January. We'll do one thing, we'll select all these and we'll press control one. We'll go to custom, we'll remove general and we'll put has semicolon has semicolon dash and we'll do OK. So instead of zero, we can see dash now, total paid and balance. We can't insert formula of total paid right now, but we can insert the formula of balance. So formula for balance will be plus or equal to invoice amount minus total paid and we'll hit enter. We'll drag this down. Total paid, we will highlight this because we are going to insert formula over here later on. The basic reason I'm putting color so that it will remind me that formula is still pending. Now I'll select all and we'll create borders. We'll adjust the column size. We'll click on top of invoice amount and we'll put our formula. It will be plus or equal to sum bracket open. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got the amount. We'll take this in center. We'll select all three. We'll press control one. We'll go to custom. We'll remove general and we'll put has semicolon has semicolon dash and we will do OK. Now we will drag this. So whenever it will be zero, dash will be visible. Now we will come to right hand side. Now we will click on K4 and we'll select L also and we'll merge this together. This will be from enter. We'll select M and N and we'll merge this together. We'll select OPQ and we'll merge this together. Now we will select all and we'll create borders. We'll create outside border. We'll put some color over here and we'll change the font color. We'll unmerge this. We'll merge P and Q. This will be two. Enter from. The formula for start date will be plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma one double inverted comma close and we will come to left and we'll click on first month and we'll click on year. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll come to right. We got some random figure. We'll click over here. We'll press control or command and we'll select this also. We'll press control one. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do OK. So the random figure got changed to date two. We'll take this in center two. Formula will be plus or equal to EO month means end of the month bracket open. We'll click on first date comma zero. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got last date of the month. Now we will click just after balance. We'll come down and we'll insert the formula for first date. Formula will be plus or equal to. We'll click over here. Means we will just connect this from here. Enter. Now we will select this. We'll press control one. We'll go to date and we'll select this date format means just date and month. OK, now we will insert formula for second date and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open. We'll click on first date is smaller than we'll click on last date. We'll press function F4 and the cell will be logged comma first date plus one comma double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. In formula, I have inserted double inverted comma twice in end. The basic reason behind this, the months, which will have days less than 31, it will be showing blank over there. We'll click just on top of first date and we'll insert the formula for days and the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We'll click on first date comma double inverted comma D D D means D three times double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. We'll take this in center. We'll select both the rows and we'll change the font style. We'll drag this. We'll put some color over here. Over here also for dates, we will put some color. We'll change the font color. We'll create borders. Over here also, we will create borders. We we'll select both cells and we'll adjust the column size. We'll select from top to bottom and we'll insert borders. Now we will select second day and date and we'll drag till 31st. We'll come to left, we'll click on top of balance and we'll drag this till end because this is total. We'll come to left, we'll click on S, we'll select till U. We'll merge this together, we'll put the red color, font will be white and we'll drag this. 
will create outside border. This will be total dues. Enter. Now we'll come to left. We'll come to extreme left. We'll select this till end. And we'll put blue color. We'll put outside border. Perfect. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. Total paid. Now we will insert our formula. I'll remove the color. No fill. Plus or equal to subtotal. Bracket open. We will not use sum over here. We will use subtotal. Because we want total of all the months separately. In subtotal, we get many options. I'll just go to number 9. That is sum. Comma. We'll click just under first date. And we'll select till last date. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll come to left. We will drag this down. Now we will select column number F and we'll highlight due and cleared. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to, and over here I'll type cleared. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill, and I'll select green color and font will be white. Okay, okay. We'll go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule, equal to, and this time I'll type due. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill, we'll select red color for due and font will be white and we'll do OK. OK. So whenever it will be due, it will be highlighted in red and whenever it will be cleared, it will be highlighted in green. Now I'll come to right hand side, total dues, it will be plus or equal to, I'll come to left and we'll click on total of balance, enter. Total balance will be our total dues. We'll click over here. We'll press Ctrl 1. We'll go to currency. Decimal places, it will be 0. Symbol, we will select rupee symbol or dollar symbol, whatever we want. And we'll do OK. We'll come to left. Now we will insert our formulas over here. So it will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. There will be total two VLOOKUP values over here. We'll come to left. First lookup value will be customer's name. We'll press function F4 three times. And second lookup value will be our date. We'll press function F4 two times, comma, table RA. We will go to collection entry sheet and we'll select from helper. We'll select till end. We'll press function F4 and the whole range will be logged, comma, column index number. So we want paid amount. We'll come to left and we'll count our columns. We have selected our range of VLOOKUP from helper. So helper will be number one. Customer name 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll come to right. 10, 11, 12. So I'll put 12 over here. Comma 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket. But before hitting enter, I'll insert the criteria of if error. If error, bracket open. We'll come to end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this down and we'll drag this till end. We'll come to left. We can't see any figure over here because all the payments are done in the month of February. So let's go to collection sheet and select the month as February. And we got our figures. We'll do one thing. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll press shift control, right arrow key. We'll go to conditional formatting. We'll select highlight cell rule, not equal to. For not equal to, we will go to more rules. And from here, we will select not equal to. Not equal to blank. For blank, we will put double inverted comma twice. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill. From here, we will select green color and font will be white. So whenever any payment amount will be there, it will be highlighted automatically in green. And we'll do OK. So all our figures got highlighted in green. Let's leave it selected and come to right hand side. Over here we can see due also got highlighted in green. So we'll go to conditional formatting once again. Highlight cell rule equal to and this time we will type due. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill. From here we will select the red color and font will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So whenever it will be due, it will automatically be highlighted in red. We'll come to left. And our format is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download, you can. But the download option is only for channel members. You can join the channel membership for download and edit access.
I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye bye.